The National Union of Electricity Employees, NUEE, has suspended its nationwide strike for two weeks. The Secretary General of the Union, Joe Ajayiro, made this known last night after a meeting with the Minister of Labor, Chris Ngige. He said the government has promised to resolve the issues raised by the union within two weeks. He said if their demands are not met, the strike will resume. We met to discuss the issues and then we have promises and compromises and then uh, for two weeks, two weeks is not a long time, we all leave to come back to it and uh, they will have been asked to suspend our action and when you suspend an action you can recall it any moment. We want to believe that the government will handle these matters in good faith. As some of them have lingered to a very dangerous point. We will not wait again for one year or six months or two years to renew our action if the contents of what we agree today are not implemented. So we will take a pause now, wait for about two weeks, as we said. Two weeks is not a century, and we'll come back. The electricity workers under the NUEE had embarked on an industrial strike action on Wednesday to press home their demands. The federal government immediately summoned an emergency meeting with the electricity workers after they shut down the national grid, throwing the nation into darkness. I mean, yesterday we saw a video that showed them officially taking, you know, turning off the lights and going on a strike. And it initially seemed like a joke, but it's, it's just going to show how important every organ, every part of the body is. The pinky finger, you know, it's a system. Everybody would just think, oh, it's power, you know, we can find a way to wing, find a way to wing our way around it. But at the end of the day, we see that in just few hours, the impact, impact was largely felt around the country yeah, I mean, in 30 minutes it's going to be felt across the country and of course you know the economic damage that that would also cause um you know it's quite a lot a lot of people have to spend more on diesel you know and this is you know companies across the country business across the country um but i would like to have a conversation with joe ajero any of any of them you know in in this body and understand what exactly the strike is for and what their grievances are because you would expect normally that it would be a money issue that's the same thing with asu it would probably be the same thing with the doctors um, but I need to be sure that the NUEE is either asking for more money or there's something else. Because from what I'm seeing or what I've heard, you know, it might not be a money issue. It might be, you know, something with regards to promotion, yes. personal, personal exams. Unfair labor practices in the power sector. Well. But, but, but whatever well. the issues are, the, the question is, maybe is it time for us to rethink our strategy in Nigeria? Is it possible that, I mean, I would like to find out if, there had been previous conversations, if there had been maybe town hall meetings to try and establish the fact that this is a, a, dis, you know, a grievance that we have and that we need rectified. Have these been done in time past? Is strike our first resort? And let's talk about also the effectiveness of strike. We've seen it with ASU. Unfortunately, like Blessing said when we were doing the breakfast uh, headlines, when the two elephants fight, the grass suffers. Well, strikes are more effective in a, in a situation where, you know, you have a government that is willing to listen and willing to um, understand that the grass shouldn't suffer. When one elephant, you know, understands that the grass shouldn't really suffer um, or do, does whatever it takes, you know, to, to make sure that the, the suffering isn't too much, you know, so the strikes would... And also, it's also a good time to, under, to you know, realize that there's a lot of things that need to be taken off the exclusive list. You know, there's a lot of things that need to be, and that, that's why people always talk about, you know, um, um, what's the word you know, about separation of powers? Exactly, separation of powers, and then, and then there's some other word. I don't remember the word now. Um, let more states be responsible for their power and for their, you know, economy and Internet for their police and revenue. For, exactly. Just look out for um, yourself, really. Absolutely, because you know, if you have one body shutting down power across the whole nation. That's a very, very dangerous thing that we're seeing. If you want to go on strike, go leave the power on and go on strike if you want to. So, <laughs> wow. Now I'm just saying. <laughs> the, the essence of the strike. <laughs> but uh, another angle that I'd like to look at is maybe it's time for us to revisit conversations about, you know, processes and procedures for registering complaints. And it's been actually taken into effect. Yes. So if you have a complaint in an organization, is there a structure that actually listens, right? So in this case, of, I mean, of course, it's not HR, but like in most organizations, when you have a complaint, you go to the HR, and then the HR then effects, you know, 
some change. And then when you've done maybe a first complaint, a second complaint, then you can decide, you know what, this is not working for yeah. me. So rather than resorting to strikes first, maybe it's time to revisit conversation about what is the appropriate channel of complaint and how is this complaint taken into effect before we then go on a strike that affects lots of people. There are people that are on life support. Oh, absolutely. That need In hospitals, that yes. car. Yes. So imagine babies. And that's that why I said it's very know. insensitive. You know, I understand, you know, people would argue that, you know, if you would allow us to go on strike because of the grievances, they should as well allow NUE to go on strike. But this one, you know, just hits a different way entirely, you know, because of how much, how, you know, quick the effect will be felt. The word I was looking for was restructuring. Okay. Um, how quick the effect can be felt across the whole country um, simply by turning off, you know, power. Not every, you know, um, primary health care center or hospital across the country has standby generators ready to run for the next two In days In one or minute, days. two minutes, somebody could die. Absolutely. But then again, we're not privy to inside information that tells you what, you know, what they have done before now to communicate their issues. I want to believe that this strike is not their first point of call. I want to hope and believe that's not the first point of call that they've communicated that and they feel not seen and not taken um, not taken seriously because right now it's like everyone is either talking of elections or they're talking about ASU. Yeah. They're not really talking about power as much. Even the telcos that have increased tariffs, they're not talking about them as much. So in a way, it's just like, see me, I'm here. I've been talking, you, you, you know, just sort of re-emphasizing and reiterating the importance of society. Once again, I would love to hear from the NUE. I'd love to hear from Jiro or Jiro personally and, you know, hear what exactly their grievances are. Let them put them on the table for Nigerians to hear because ASU, of course, has laid down all the challenges on the table. They've spoken over time, you know, these are the issues that we have with the, with the federal government, so, you know, and everyone understands what their challenges are. Some people might say, okay, well, could we handle it a different way? Maybe we need to structure the educational sector yes. in a different way so that you don't always have to be on strike. Um, when the federal government isn't listening. But the, I would like the NUEE, because there's also the TCN, there's other you know, bodies connected to electricity. If they decide also that they want to be going on strike, then Nigeria is, is in deep, you know, isn't, if you're going to be in problems. A problems. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> so I want to hear what their issues are. Yes. If it is a money issue, yeah. if it is, you know, an occupational, you know, um, hazard issue, if it is a, oh, we don't right want to be, and, you, you know, know, writing promotional exams through this body. I don't know what it is. It so nice we'll, we'll definitely like And I hope that the government, that. you know, does visit it, takes it as important because power is important to the rest of us. We're struggling as it is. We don't want to now add a strike on top of it. Mm -hmm.